All right, what's going on guys? So today I wanna to talk to you about why I bought minted 57 Mad Meerkats. Now, Mad Meerkats, I would say, is kind of like the crown jewel NFT for the Kronos or Crypto.com ecosystem. And the reason is because they've astronomically been growing each and every single day and every single week, every single month, ever since their inception. So I really, really like what Mad Meerkats is doing in their entire ecosystem. And even before anyone else saw it, I was able to spot Mad Meerkats when they first came out. And I was super, super pumped about them. And I'm gonna explain to you why I bought over 57 Mad Meerkats. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna prove it to you. So I'm gonna connect to my wallet and I'm gonna show you exactly all of my Mad Meerkats. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so all I have to do is connect this button right here, click allow, and here we go. So now I'm gonna connect to my wallet. And then what I can do is I can click on my NFTs. And what you're gonna see here are pretty much all of the NFTs that I have on Ebisu Bay. So let's just go into Mad Meerkats and let's filter it based on that. And currently I'm not holding 57 anymore because I did give away some, I did sell a lot uh, to basically get back my initial investment, but I'm sharing with you here how I have 19 of these and 19 of these Mad Meerkats at 11,000 crow. So I have 19 of these and multiply that by 11,000 of these crow. So that's 209,000 in crow. And currently crow's price is, all right, currently crow's at 31 cents. So multiply this by about 31.15. And the value of this is about $65,000 in Mad Meerkats that I hold. So let's go and take a look. All right, so here's my Mad Meerkats. I have them at a really, really high price. Uh, as you can see, I've listed them for like 192, 245, 198, 245. So I'm listing these at a very, very high price. As a matter of fact, this one right here is actually my favorite one, ranked number 347. And I've listed this one at 900,500 crow. And uh, if anyone wants to buy it for 900,500 crow, here it is. But I'm, I don't plan on selling this ever. Uh, this one's kind of like gonna be my trophy and I'm gonna hold on to this forever. So basically what we're seeing here is all of the meerkats that I have. And um, so let's see, we have four right here, uh, eight, 12, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So those are 19 mad meerkats. I had a whole bunch before, but I actually sold it to be able to recoup for my um, initial investment because as an NFT trader that's one of my first rules is that if I can recoup my initial investment uh, and this was early early on before these things popped but if I can recoup my initial investment after a certain period and be able to hold the rest that's what I'm gonna do and that's exactly what I did right here so these right here these 19 I'm pretty much gonna be holding these pretty much forever until uh, until you know I decide to sell one later down the road if I really really need the money but I really don't right now so uh, Mad Meerkats, in my opinion, I believe could be the Bored Ape Yacht Clubs of the Kronos ecosystem. And um, I'm, I'm really, really adamant about and I'm really, really bullish about Mad Meerkats being number one uh, because of everything that they're doing. They've, they have yield farms, they have tokens that they're creating, they have launch pads, they're creating multiple NFTs. They just have one of the biggest ecosystems that I've seen in Kronos. And they've actually overtaken VVS Finance, uh, which was like, I, I would say like, you know, Cronus's number one um, finance platform. Now they've overtaken it. And now MMF Finance is pretty much kind of like, you can think of it as like PancakeSwap to, um, to the Binance chain or Uniswap to the Ethereum chain. That's kind of like how MMF Finance is. You get to basically, you can buy and sell Kronos tokens using their exchange. And not only that, but they also have yield farming. So it's kind of like an, a hyped up version of Uniswap and a hyped up version of like Pancake Swap. So that's the reason why I really, really think that these Mad Meerkats are gonna go somewhere. So imagine if Uniswap had an NFT and imagine if Pancake Swap had an NFT and, and all these yield farms and all these crazy things. That's, what's, that's what we have right here in the Mad Meerkat ecosystem. And I'm super, super bullish about it. All right, so now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my wallet address, okay? 
and I'm gonna copy my wallet address. We're gonna go into a place called Chronoscan. Okay, here we are. So I'm gonna paste my wallet address right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys basically in um, my CRC721, I'm gonna show you guys essentially like what I have in my Mad Meerkats here. So I'm gonna click view all and let's go all the way to the last page. And so what we're gonna see here is um, these were the very first Kronos NFTs that I've actually purchased. And so uh, you can see here, there's, there's 50 on this page right here. And you can see all the different mints that I've minted in the past. And let's actually go to the transaction history over here. And you can see uh, I minted two at a time at, at the time. And so at the time of transaction, these were $364. So what that means is that 364 divided by two, I purchased these for $182 each. And so now they're worth 11,000 crow. Multiply that by 0.315. So now they're worth $3,426. So imagine from uh, 364 divided by two is 182. So 36, 30, what is this? Uh, 11,000 times 0.31, 3115. So 3,400 minus about like um, 180 bucks. A profit of $3,246 for each of those NFTs. Currently right now, the 19 that I have. I've already, like I mentioned, I've already sold the others. Um, but I mean, I've been holding these ever since December 8th, 2021. And that's over 147 days ago. So I'm, you know, I'm going to explain to you why I bought a lot of these and why I had so much conviction as I did in the past. And this is pretty much, it goes back into how I find NFTs personally for myself and also how I find these alphas for my group over at the Buck Buck NFT. And so um, it's not the first win that I've had. I've had so many different wins in this NFT space. And the reason why I'm consistently able to win is because of the number of factors that I have put into uh, uh, like a checklist of things that I'm looking for when I'm when I'm buying NFTs. All right. So another thing I want to do is I want to go to my wallet and I want to click on sales. So here's my NFTs and, and uh, what I have right here. And also let's go click on sales over here. So these are the ones that I've actually listed and sold. So let's go and take a look here. So these are all the meerkats that I've sold so far. And you can see I've sold them as as low as 525 crow and as high as 10,000 crow. This one I actually sold by mistake. I actually wanted to delist this, um, but I'm, I'm probably looking at buying another meerkat so I can have a total of 20 so I can even out um, for later when they airdrop me more um, NFTs. But basically you can see all of the sales history that I've had here. And so initially, so let's theoretically say I bought these things at $180 each, okay? And so I have $180, multiply that by 57. So I've bought over $10,000 worth of meerkats. And so over here, I've pretty much, um, I wanted to recoup my investment. And so I, I did. So let's go and take a look and see how much uh, I've totally sold for in crow. So right here I have 525 plus 550 plus 525 plus 545 plus 550 plus 725 plus 645 plus 625 plus 650 plus 745 plus 725 plus 745 plus 745 plus 825 plus 825 plus 845 825 825 all right plus 895 plus 955 plus 955 plus 1565 plus 1545 plus 1525 plus 3545 plus 10 575 okay so a total of 37000 crow 34000 crow and let's theoretically say that crow is average price over the past, uh, you know, since December um, up until um, April. And let's say the average price here was like, let's say 35 crow, right? So let's just be fair in here and say 35 per crow. So multiply that by 0.35 and that's about $11,900. And this is just an estimate. I don't really know, but I've already recouped back my initial investment and everything else in in my mad meerkats 
um, basically is is house money. So so I've sold two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. So I've sold a total of 26 over here. I've given out a few as well uh, to some of my friends. And so sold a total of 26. I've recouped all my investment back and I still have 19 Mad Meerkats. Now let's go right into detail why Mad Meerkats and the reason why I bought these. Okay, so the biggest reason why I bought Mad Meerkats was because of utility. And so when I'm buying NFT projects, I'm always looking at NFT projects that have utility because the ones that have utility, those are the ones that have long-term, uh, basically longevity. And so these are the ones that I feel like would basically have a better chance when it comes to um, you know, lasting for many, many months. So if you're the type of investor and you wanna just buy something and let it appreciate, not have to worry about the ups and down swings and not have to worry about you know always reading the news and what's happening in their discord and blah 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 and you want to see that you know if you want to hold on to an nft like kind of like a bored ape and then just like wait a year and see what happens then i'd recommend getting into nfts that have a lot of utility now the nfts that have a lot of utility um like mad meerkats these are these are nfts that were uh, wrapped around an ecosystem for yield farming and an exchange, which is Mad Meerkat Finance. Now, initially they had bought like another company, I think it's called Croc Swap or Croc Finance or something like that. And um, they changed the name into Mad Meerkat Finance. And so this is where we're at right now. I mean, look at this beautiful NFT here. I mean, like, isn't this gorgeous? This is so amazing right here. Um, not only that, uh, not only just because of the artwork, but mainly I bought it for the utility. And at the time, like these Mad Meerkats, people were selling for like a hundred, like way below the floor price. The floor price, uh, the, the mint price was 300. And once it was fully minted out, people were selling, selling, selling it down to like 130 crow. Can you imagine like, you know, all the FUD that's happening and people are like, oh man, this isn't going anywhere. It's gonna go down to zero. And so these Mad Meerkats were all the way down to 130 crow. Can you imagine that? I held strong because the reason why, and you can see in my in my sales history, I didn't sell for 130 crow, which I could have. I could have panic sold and sold for 130 crow, but I sold as it was starting to get profitable. And so um, I sold in January a few here and there, just so I can recoup some of my investments and also buy into other NFTs as well. So in this case, when I'm when I'm going into an NFT project, I want to if I have full conviction in it, I buy a lot. And the reason is because now I can actually sell some and keep the rest. So once it starts to go up, I can start to sell some for my initial investment, and then I can start putting it into other projects. And then I can take um, the ones that, I, that I'm just holding on to and then just leave them in there. And what I do is I usually keep my most rare NFTs. So my most rare NFT right here is gonna be the, the black earrings. So let me see if I can find it over here. Okay, it's this one right here. Um, it's ranked 334 compared to this one rank um, 347 so the reason why this one's rare is because of the black earring right here But essentially like that's that's what I'm looking for when I'm going into an NFT project Mad meerkat if you go into their ecosystem You're gonna see that they've launched and helped launch so many different tokens on the Kronos ecosystem and not only that but they've actually successfully um, been able to get into the one billion dollar plus uh, market cap and actually total value locked in their system. So there's over a billion dollars in their Mad Meerkat finance system ecosystem and So you can see that there's a lot more coming to this project now on top of that I've also gained other NFTs like the Mad Meerkat treehouse. So at the time I was holding uh, 20 of these so for every four that I was holding I would get for free the Mad Meerkat treehouse um, basically NFTs. so if I go over here and I can, you can see I have five Mad Meerkat treehouses that I got for absolutely free. And so let's take a look at the Mad Meerkat treehouse price and let's go click on this right here and we can see that the price is at currently 12,050 crow. So 12,500 crow actually, multiply that by five is a total of 62,500 crow. So crow is at 0.3115. I got a total of uh, almost $20,000 in free NFTs. If I were to sell this thing at the floor right now, that would be $20,000 in free money because I was holding my Mad Meerkats. 
And so that's another reason why I love the Mad Meerkat ecosystem. They continually reward their holders and they continually are building new things. Now on top of that, they're also coming out with Mad Meerkat Degen, which I'll talk about later in another video. And I'll also talk about later in another video about the staking mechanism and how I'm making almost $100 per day just by staking these five free NFTs that I got. And I'm basically, I can, I can utilize that money anytime I want. There's no like, there's no like fee, um, like, well, actually there is, there is a fee transact, but there's no like malice fee, which is like a tax or anything like that. I can take that, you know, hundred dollars a day. Um, and right now it's actually a lot lower. It's closer to like 40 bucks because of the price, but I can take that 40 bucks a day and I can turn it into us dollar, us dollar coin, put it into my Kronos wallet, go out and spend it, whatever I want. Um, but basically these NFTs right here is making me free money each and every single day. And so we'll get into uh, that in a later discussion on which token I'm buying uh, to um, essentially like look forward to in the future. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a lot of value. Now, if you are in the Buck Buck NFT Discord, um, you know, the the thing about that is if you're if you're holding a Buck Buck NFT, you can actually go ahead and, and validate and collab land your NFT so that you can join our holders chat where I'm gonna be posting all the alphas that I haven't shown yet on YouTube. So these are the NFTs that I'm buying right now. These are the tokens that I'm buying right now and stuff that I'm not showing on YouTube. So if you guys want in early on these projects that I'm getting into, go into buckbucknft.com, get yourself a buckbuck NFT and join our Discord. Go into our collab land, verify yourself and let's get you into that alpha group. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got a lot of value and have a great rest of your day.